はい、いつたけし from jplail.com。Finally, New Japan Rail Pass official website will be launched in one minute. This website is available in five languages now English, Chinese, Korean, and Japanese. I hope many more languages will be available in the future. When you buy the Japan Rail Pass here, you have to create your account. So just click Create a new account here. This is a registration page. It's very ordinary、uh, registration page. Just put your email address, password, name, and read these terms and conditions. After you read、uh, these terms and conditions, you have to press a check mark here. But、uh, you cannot press a check mark、uh, until you scroll at the end of the terms and conditions.、Okay, just click temporary registration here. The registration has not been done yet at this point. Check your email to activate your account. You will receive an email like this. Just click the URL to complete your registration. Registration is now complete. So click the login to buy a JR pass and book your seat. Now we can purchase a JR pass here. I click the Purchase Japan Rail Pass here. When you buy a JR Pass, you can choose start date, valid date, type of the pass, planned arrival location, and number of the passenger. At start date, pick up a day when you want to start using JR Pass. This official website sells us only the JR Pass we will use up to one month in advance. Since this movie was created on June 1st, We can buy only the JR Pass that will be in use by July 1st. If you want to buy the JR Pass that you will use to travel after July 2nd, you have to wait another day. I think the reason for the limited sales period is related to JR ticket reservation system. The reserved seat tickets for JR trades are on sale at 10 am one month before traveling. For example, if you travel on July 15th, The sales of the reserved seat is June 15th at 10 a.m. So, the only thing that you can book now is travel by July 1st. Even if you could buy the JR Pass for travel in August, you couldn't book a seat now anyway. I will try to buy the JR Pass. I'll pick up by June 21st for the starting date. At valid dates, you can choose from 7 days, 14 days, or 21 days. Let me pick up a 7 day pass. And you can choose from ordinary or green. Green car pass covers a green car. Green car is like a business class seat. It is much more spacious than ordinary car. However, even the ordinary seat is much more spacious than the economy class seat on most of aircraft. Unless you have a very big body, ordinary seat is totally fine. I'm going to pick up a green car pass because I want to show you how to reserve the seat on both ordinary and green. Next. You will pick up which airport or port you will arrive in Japan. There are a lot of choices. I'm pretty sure you can find your location of arrival. Please don't mix up these airport names and the JR Pass exchange offices. These are not the exchange office of JR Pass. This is just an information to pass to JR when purchasing JR Pass. I will explain you how to exchange the pass later. For now, I'm going to pick up Narita Airport as arrival location. Next, number of the passengers. Just choose how many pass you want. There are only two kinds of pass adult or child. Child pass is available for age 6 to 11. There is no other choices such as a student or senior. If you have a child 12 years old or up, you have to buy adult pass. It is free of charge for 5 years old or younger, but you cannot secure a seat for this child. If there are lots of empty seats around your seat, you can put your child on one of these seats. Of course, it is not guaranteed. You may have to share your seat with your child. If you want to secure a seat for this child, you have to buy a child pass even if your child is 5 years old or younger. For now, I pick up just one adult passenger. Okay, click next. Okay, here is a summary.、Uh, purchase amount is 44,810 yen. It's shown in the Japanese yen, so please convert your country's currency. 
By the way, the price of the official JR Pass online is set considerably higher than the travel agency price. I made a price comparison chart, so please take a look. As you can see, the price on this web official website is set at 10% to 12% higher than the travel agency price. So, what are the advantages of buying on this website? I think there are three. First, reliability. Since it is the official JR site, you can purchase with confidence. Second, no exchange order is required. You can redeem an actual pass with a reservation number, which will be given by JR official online at the time of purchase. On the other hand, if you purchase the JR pass with an agent, you'll be given an exchange order, which is a kind of voucher. This will replace the actual pass after you arrive in Japan. If you lose your voucher, it cannot be reissued. You must buy it again. Also, if you use the agent's online sales instead of the official online website, there will be a shipping charge. The shipping fee is around uh, 25 US dollars per delivery, so the agent price is still cheaper. But if you cancel it, you have to send an exchange order to the travel agent. Third, online seat reservation. This is the biggest difference until now. With some exceptions, JR Pass passengers have not been able to pre-book train seats. You can make a seat reservation by purchasing a pass on this JR official online site. This is a great advantage when traveling during the peak seasons such as the New Year holidays. It is super hard to book a seat after you arrive in Japan. If you understand these conditions and can accept a higher price, buy a pass on this online site. Check your valid date, the type of pass, and the arrival location again. Please check again if you meet the requirements for using the JR Pass. If everything is OK, place a check mark at Agree to Purchase Requirements. Please note that the check mark cannot be placed unless you scroll to the end. Next, if you buy a pass for someone under the age of 16, parents' consent is required. So please place a check mark at parent consent has been obtained for a passenger under 16. Otherwise, place a check mark at no one under 16. Next is the entry of a passport information. First, enter the country name. This is not a full country name, but a one, two, three letter country abbreviation. It should be in your passport. Then you need to enter your passport number and re-enter to confirm. Click Confirm to move the next page. You have not yet completed your pass purchase at this point. Please check valid date, the type of pass, and arrival location again. Also check the country code and the passport number you entered. Once you have confirmed that everything is correct, the final step is enter your credit card information. You can use the major credit cards for main payment. Enter your card number, expiry date, and the three-digit security code on the back of your card. Click Purchase when you are done. Click this to complete the purchase. After that, a cancellation fee will be required when you cancel your pass. The fee is 560M pass per ticket. It's not a big amount, but please keep it in mind. When you complete your JR Pass purchase, you will receive an email like this. In this email, you can find your reservation number. You will need this reservation number when you receive an actual pass. So be ready to show it your mobile phone or print it out when you receive the JR pass after you arrive in Japan. Please note that you cannot board the train with this email itself. This is just a confirmation email. So you must exchange a JR pass after you arrive in Japan. Also, when you receive your pass, you must show your pass JR staff will check you meet the requirements for using the pass. Although it doesn't mention here, you should also bring the credit card used to purchase the pass. This email includes a customer service email address. If you have any problems, you can contact, contact them here. Next, I will explain to you where to exchange your JR pass. Click how to pick up my Japan Rail Pass. The information page on the JR Pass official website will open. 
You can find the section if you purchase online. Click step 2 pick up the pass. It explains how to receive a pass, but it does not tell you where you can redeem it. Actually, a description of the exchange office is below. Let's scroll down a little more. Click on locations of ticket offices in Japan where a Japan Rail Pass can be purchased. Here you can see the list of the exchange offices. You can see the stations where JR passes can be redeemed all over the Japan. You can exchange your online purchase pass at all stations on this list. Major stations in Hokkaido, such as Sapporo, Narita Airport Station, Major Tokyo stations, such as Tokyo Station and Shinjuku Station, Haneda Airport Station, Nagoya Station, Central Japan International Airport, as known as Nagoya Airport or Chubu Airport. There are precautions for Central Japan International Airport, I will explain later. Kyoto Station, Shin Osaka Station, Osaka Station, Kansai Airport Station, and major stations in Kyushu, such as Hakata Station. Now, at the Central Japan International Airport, you can exchange your online purchase Japan Rail Pass, but there is no JR line at Central Japan International Airport. You have to travel to the nearest JR station at your own expense. Usually it takes a Meitetsu line or a limousine bus to get to Nagoya station. You can find a simple map by clicking the place with a link attached to the station name. You can see where in the station the exchange office is. This is a map of the Hakata station, Kansai airport station. Major stations such as Tokyo station are quite huge and are very crowded, so it may be difficult for you to find the location. Make sure you have enough time to exchange your JR pass. Now, I will explain how to reserve a train sheet online. When you log in your account at the JR Pass official site, you will see this page, My Menu. Click on Reserve a Seat. As I mentioned earlier in this movie, JR Reserved Seat tickets are on sale at 10 a.m. one month before traveling. For example, even if you purchase a pass that can be used from the July 1st on June 1st, you can only make a reservation for the ride on July 1st at the time of purchase. For reservations for July 2nd, you must wait for another one day. If you purchase a JR Pass online, you will always have access to your account. Don't worry, you don't have to make all reservations at the same time you purchase. Let's make a reservation. First, enter the departure station and the arrival station. Now, let's book a train from Tokyo to Kyoto, then select the date and time. A calendar will open where you can only select the dates that are within the period of your JR pass. Let's select uh, June 21st. Let's set the time at 8 a.m. Here I will really search according to the departure time. If you want to search for the trains by the arrival time, select arrival time search. Please leave the check mark at the select Shinkansen. This choice can be used if you have a knowledge of Japanese trains and would like to board a specific train. Otherwise, you can leave it. At the end, the name of the travelers using the pass are displayed. This time, I have a purchase for one person, so there is only one name. But if you purchase passes for multiple travelers, all names will be displayed. If you don't have to make reservations for all travelers and multiple people take a different travel plans, you can put a check mark only on the names that need booking. Click search Two routes are displayed. Usually, uh, the, the result shows us uh, two or three routes. There are two routes 
first one is departing 803, and second one is departing 833. Let's take a first route departing at 803. It is a Hikari 503, which departs Tokyo at 803 and arrives at Kyoto at 1037. By the way, as you may know, there are three types of the trains on the Shinkansen between Tokyo and Kyoto or Shin Osaka. These are Nozomi, Hikari, and Kodama. Nozomi, which is the fastest train among them, is not covered by JR Pass. Also, the JR Pass does not cover Mizuho, which is the fastest train from Shin Osaka to Kyushu. This schedule search is designed for the JR Pass users, so Nozomi and Mizuho do not appear in the search results. Let's look at the route number two. This is Hikari 65 departing Tokyo Station at 8:33 and arriving in Kyoto at 11:12. Hikari usually runs twice every hour. It is less convenient than Nozomi, which runs seven to eight trips an hour. But Hikari is not still a bad choice. Click Select and make a reservation for Hikari 635 departing at 8:33. Eight types of seats are displayed. Let's look at one by one. Ordinary car, non-smoking seats. This is the most common seat. Ordinary car seats with extra large luggage space, non-smoking seats. From May 20th, 2020, new rules for oversized luggage have been set for Nozomi, Hikari, Kodama, Mizuho, Sakura, and Tsubame. Running on the Tokaido, Sanyo, and Kyushu Shinkansen between Tokyo, Nagoya, Kyoto, Shin Osaka, Hiroshima, Hakata, and Kagoshima Chuo. By this rule, if you bring a luggage with some of the height, width, and depth are more than 160 centimeters, you must book a seat with extra large luggage space. These seats with extra large Luggage space is located at the back row in the car, and you can put your luggage in the space between the seat and the wall. This space is reserved for passengers who book seats with extra large luggage space and cannot be used by other passengers. Also, if you have oversized luggage, you cannot board the train without a reservation for this space. Be sure to book this seat with extra large luggage space. If you bring in extra large luggage without making a reservation with seat with extra large luggage space, you will be charged 1,000 M per luggage. Please be careful. Next, ordinary car non-smoking seats near smoking room. Smoking is not allowed in the passenger's cabin, but there are some smoking space in the Shinkansen train. Select this seat. If you want to reserve the seat near the smoking space, ordinary car seats with extra large luggage space, non-smoking seats near smoking room. It is a seat with an extra luggage space, which I explained earlier, and the seat is near the smoking space. Green car non-smoking seats. It is a normal green seat. Green seat is like a business class seat. With more leg room, more reclining angles than ordinary cars. If you buy the JR Pass ordinary, the choice of the green seats are not displayed because it's not covered. Green car seats with extra large luggage space, no smoking seats. Green car no smoking seats near smoking room. Green car seats with extra large luggage space, no smoking seats near smoking room. These are the same types of the green seats as the ordinary cars described earlier. Let's book a seat in the ordinary car non-smoking seat, which is most common choice. When you reserve the seat, you have two options. If you select any seat, you will be assigned to the appropriate vacant seat. If you click the select from seat map, the seat map will be displayed, and you can select your own seat. I think most people choose seat from the seat map, so let's select the seat from the seat map. 
It seems that the cards 6, 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 are available. You can book any seat in these cards, but I do recommend the cards 13 to 16. Let me show you the Shinkansen train formation in JR Central official site. This is written uh, as a Nozomi train formation, but Hikari and Kodama are the same. All Shinkansen trains which runs between Tokyo and Kyoto or Shin Osaka are a 16 car train formation. The length of one car is about 25 meters. 82 feet, so the total length is 400 meters, 437 yards. At Tokyo Station, there are many stairs, escalators, and elevators anywhere on the platform. But the other Shinkansen station, there are stairs, escalators, and elevators in the middle of the platform. So, cars number 15 and 16 are away from the stairs, escalators, and elevators. Therefore, if you choose a car that is close to the center of the train formation as possible, you can make uh, the walking distance on the platform as short as possible, especially if you will travel with small children and or seniors. This is very important. You are now looking at the availability of car number 12. There are many seats available, so booking is so easy. All seats at the last row, at the row 20, seems to be occupied. This is a seat that corresponds to the ordinary car seats with extra large luggage space I explained earlier. So if you search for the ordinary car seats, these seats are not displayed. Next, let's look at the car number 7. Here, not only the last row, but also the all seats after the row 8 seems to be occupied. This is because there is a smoking room at the back of the car number 7. In other words, if you select ordinary car non-smoking seats near smoking room, all seats from row 1 to 7 are occupied. Let's see this later. When you reserve the seat, simply click on the seat you like. and click Confirm at the bottom. If you want to change the seat once selected, just click once on the selected seat and then click on Other Seat. Let's go back to the Seat Selection page. When you want to go back to the, to the Seat Selection page, please click uh, Close at the top or bottom. Let's look at the seat map in the ordinary car non-smoking seat near smoking room. As you can see, car number 7 shows row 8 through 14 available. This is because there is a smoking room on the back of the side of car number 7. As I explained in the ordinary car non-smoking seat that we saw earlier. Looking at the car number 14, only seats in loads are 16 and up and uh, in car number 15, only loads 1 to 7 are shown. This is because there is a smoking room in front of the car number 15. Next, let's look at the seat in the ordinary car, seat with extra large luggage space, non-smoking seat. It seems that the cars 6, 7, 12, and 13 are applicable, but the car number 7 is not available because there is a smoking room on car number 7. So select the seat from car number 6, 12, and 13. This time, I'm looking for the seat in the ordinary cars, 
seats with an extra large luggage space, no smoking seats. So, only the seats on row 18th, which is the last in the car, are displayed on the seat map. Luggage can be placed between this seat and the wall, directly behind it. By the way, I usually choose the seat E when I travel from Tokyo to Kyoto or Shin Osaka by the Shinkansen train because this side is to see the Mount Fuji very well. Let's look at the green car. There are choices of the green car, non-smoking seats, green cars, seat with extra large luggage space, non-smoking seats, green car, non-smoking seats near smoking room, green car, seat with extra large luggage space, non-smoking seats near smoking room. However, the way of the categorized the seat is same as the ordinary car. Select a green car, non-smoking seat. Green cars have a 2 plus 2 seat layout. Ordinary car has a 3 plus 2 seat layout. In addition, the leg space of the seat for the green car is 20 cm, 8 inches larger than the ordinary car. In addition, the seat has a large reclining angle. However, the seat in the ordinary car is considerably larger than economy class seat on an aircraft. Unless you have a big body, ordinary seat is okay. The seat selection method is the same as the ordinary car. The 16th row, which is the last row, is a green car seat with an extra large luggage space, no smoking seat. So you cannot choose with normal green car seat selection. This is also the same as the ordinary car. Car number 9 is currently displayed. Let's look at the car number 10. All seats, row 9 and up, are taken. This is because there is a smoking seat at the back of the car number 10. If you select the green car non-smoking seats near smoking room, this part will be displayed. This is also the same as the ordinary car. In green car, the seat D is a Mount Fuji side. Next, let's make a seat reservation for a train from Tokyo to Sapporo. There are no direct trains in this section. Take the Hokkaido Shinkansen from Tokyo Station to Shin Hakodate Hokuto Station, then take the Limited Express Hokuto to Sapporo Station. You can see how to book two trains in one search. Two routes are displayed. Route 1 is departing Tokyo Station at 9.36 and Route 2 is departing at 12.20. Let's look at the train connection of Route 1. The train from Tokyo to Shin Hakutate Hokuto is the Hokkaido Shinkansen Hayabusa 13, and the train from Shin Hakutate Hokuto to Sapporo is Hokuto 13. The same train combination is used for the Route 2. The only difference is the departure time. Let's make a seat reservation on Route 1. First, Select the seat for Hayabusa 13 from Tokyo to Shin Hakodate Hokuto. Unlike the reservation for the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Kyoto, there are only two seat options, ordinary car and green car. There are no smoking rooms on the Hokkaido, Tohoku, Akita, Yamagata, Joetsu, and the Hokuriku Shinkansen line from Tokyo to Shin Hakodate Hokuto, Morioka, Sendai, Akita, Yamagata, Niigata, Nagano, Toyama, and Kanazawa. Therefore, there is no option for a seat near the smoking room. And since these Shinkansen trains have a shared luggage space, there are no restrictions on carrying the oversized luggage. However, luggage space is very limited, so it is better to keep your luggage as small as possible. In addition, the Hokkaido Shinkansen, Tohoku Shinkansen, Joetsu Shinkansen, and the Hokuriku Shinkansen for Shin Hakodate Hokuto, Sendai, Niigata, Nagano, Toyama, and Kanazawa have Grand Class, which is a higher class than Green Car. But you cannot book this seat at this online reservation because it is not covered. 
You can book through another reservation site, JR East Online Reservation, but please be aware that there is an additional charge on top of the JR Pass. I have another movie explaining the JR East Online Reservation. If you're interested in that, please see the links above or below. Let's reserve a seat in green car. The seating layout for the Hokkaido Shinkansen is the same as the Tokaido Shinkansen for Kyoto and Shin Osaka, with 2 plus 2 for green cars and 3 plus 2 for ordinary cars. The Hokkaido Shinkansen has only one green car on car number 9. Now select the seat 5D and click confirm. The seat 5D of car number 9 are reserved under the passenger's name and the reservation number of JR Pass. Click select seat on next train. The next train is the Limited Express Hokuto 13 departing Shin Hakodate Hokuto at 14.12 and arriving Sapporo at 17.47. Again, there are only two options. Ordinary car and green car. Select green car. The seat layout for the Limited Express Hokuto is 1 plus 2 for green cars and 2 plus 2 for ordinary cars. Select your seat and click confirm to complete the seat reservations for these two trains. Next. Let's check the route from Tokyo to Takayama. The search result for so far suggests different departure times for the same route. This time, you will see two routes for one destination. There are three options. Let's look at them one by one. On the first route, Take the Tokaido Shinkansen Hikari 637 from Tokyo to Nagoya, departing from Tokyo at 9.33 and arriving at Nagoya at 11.14. From Nagoya to Takayama, the Limited Express Wildview Hira 9 is departing from Nagoya at 11.43 and arriving at Takayama at 14.18. The second route is the same route as the first one. But the departure time from Tokyo is 30 minutes earlier and the arrival time at the Takayama is the same. There is no reason to take the second route as there is an extra waiting time in Nagoya. The third route is from Tokyo to Toyama on the Hokuriku Shinkansen Kagayaki 509 departing from Tokyo at 10.24 and arriving at the Toyama at 12.52. Until now, Route 1 and 2 are to transfer at nowhere, but this route is to transfer at Toyama. And from Toyama to Takayama, the Limited Express YW Hida 14 is departing from Toyama at 1302 and arriving at Takayama at 1432. Compared to the first route, this third route will arrive in Takayama 14 minutes later, but the Tokyo's departure time will also be the 55 minutes later. The total trip time of route 3 is more than 30 minutes shorter than route 1. I searched for a route from the Tokyo to Takayama, but unlike the previous searches, there are two routes, a route through Nagoya and a route through the Toyama. In the next search, I will show you how to narrow down these two routes to the route that passed through Toyama only. Let's go back to the search page. Enter Tokyo as the departure point and the Takayama as the arrival point. Then click Add Midway Point Station. Enter Toyama here. Now you can only search for the route from Tokyo to Toyama and Toyama to Takayama. Let's click search to find the route which goes through Toyama. Three routes are displayed. The first route is the third option which was displayed in the previous search. The second route is that the Tokyo's departure time is earlier, 
but the Takayama arrival time is the same as a route one. This is also a route through Toyama. The third route is from Toyama, which uses a local train, but this route also passes through Toyama. By the way, a local train is for a local commuting, so seat reservation is not possible except very few trains. If you ride a local train in the morning or late afternoon, you may not be able to find the seat. Train will be packed by the commuters and students. A local train stops at each station and the trip time is longer than the limited express train. So avoid taking a local train as much as you can whenever Shinkansen or limited express trains run. Of course, in most cases, you have to take a local train for a short ride within the big city such as Tokyo and Osaka. At last, let's try to make a reservation for an overnight train. Overnight trains are limited in Japan, and only two trains are available, which are Sunrise Izumo, which runs between Tokyo and uh, Izumo, Izumo Shi, and Sunrise Seto, which runs between Tokyo and Takamatsu in Shikoku. Sunrise Seto and Sunrise Izumo operate as a single train between Tokyo and Okayama. If you are looking for more information about this train, check out the links above or below as I'll show you more about this train in another movie. This time, let's see whether we can make a reservation for Sunrise Izumo departing from Izumo Shi and heading to Tokyo. I pick a June 21st. Sunrise Izumo departing, I believe it departs from Izumo Shi before 6 o'clock p.m. So I will pick up uh, 5 p.m. When you search uh, availability for Sunrise Izumo or Seto, don't forget to remove the check mark here because this train is not Shinkansen. Click search. Three routes have been displayed. Let's look at the route one first. Here is the Sunrise Izumo I'm looking for. It seems that the seats can be secured on the JR Pass reservation site here. Let's look at the other route as well. On route 2, take the Limited Express Yakumo Sari from Izumo Shi to Okayama and take Sunrise Seto from Okayama to Tokyo. Sunrise Seto is connected by the Sunrise Izumo and goes to Tokyo from Okayama as a single train. So, it is the same as riding Sunrise Izumo from Izumo Shi. The Limited Express Yakumo Sari has an earlier departure time at Izumo Shi, and there is no reason to choose this route. However, even if Sunrise Izumo is full, Sunrise Seto may have some spaces, so it can be the second choice for you. On the third route, you have to take many trains and change trains many times. You may exclude this choice. Let's select Sunrise Izumo on Route 1 and see how we can reserve a seat. By the way, Sunrise Izumo and the Sunrise Seto have the exactly same equipment on the train. The seat selection method for Sunrise Izumo, which I will show you, is the same as that for Sunrise Seto, so please refer to when making a reservation for Sunrise Seto. Now select Route 1. Ordinary car is the only seat you can choose. There are several types of the compartment in Sunrise Izumo and Seto, but you can only book a regular reserved seats here. However, the reserved seats at the Sunrise Izumo and the Seto are not a normal seat. You can lie down and sleep in a space that is about the size of a single bed called a Nobi Nobi seat. There are no duvets or pillows and the floor is a little hard, but it is a lot easier to sleep here than sitting on a regular seat. Also, among the several types of seats and the private compartment in Sunrise Izumo and the Seto, only this Nobi Nobi seat is 100% covered by the Japan Rail Pass. By the way, you can book the space for Sunrise Seto and Izumo at this site. However, 
You cannot pick the seat from the seat map for this train. There's the only one choice. It is any seat. In my experience, when I try to reserve multiple spaces, in most cases, I was able to reserve space next to each other. Of course, this depends on the availability at the time. Keep your fingers crossed. You can save the time and the budget by combining travel and accommodation by this train, Sunrise Seto and Izmo. In addition, this train bound for Tokyo departs from Osaka after midnight and arrives at Tokyo after 7 am, so it is ideal for traveling from Osaka to Tokyo. Now, let's also check the reservation to travel from Osaka to Tokyo by Sunrise Izmo or Seto. This train leaves Osaka at after midnight. Choose the date when you actually board the train. Be careful when choosing the date. Two routes are displayed. These trains have exactly the same schedule. However, one of the choices says because there are insufficient seats for the number of the passenger. The selection is not available. Please change the date, time, and try again. So let's look at the routes one by one. Route 1 uses a sunrise set, but it cannot be booked. Route 2 uses a sunrise ismo and can be booked here. As I explained, sunrise ismo and set operate as a one train, but there are two trains on the reservation, and only one can be reserved on this date. In this case, you can pick a route 2 and just select this train and secure seat here. By the way, if you take this train from Tokyo, you will not be able to use it to move from Tokyo to Osaka because this train passes through Osaka very early morning. If you really want to use it, the first arrival station in the morning is Himeji, which is about one hour away by the special rapid train. It's kind of a rapid commute train. So you will get off the Himeji and return to Osaka by that train. We could not book Sunrise, Seto, and Izmo online until we arrived in Japan before. There was a risk in case that we couldn't get the seat. Now, if you use, use a JR pass, you can make a reservation on this site. So you can use this train with more peace of mind. Next, I will show you how to change the start date of your JR pass, how to add more JR pass, and how to cancel and refund the pass. First, Go to your member account page called My Menu. If you want to move from another page, click the icon in the upper right corner and to open this page. Here you can see the start date of using JR Pass you purchased and the type of pass and below that there are change start date, add reserved passengers and refund. Let's start with change start date. Please use this if you want to change the start date of your JR pass you purchased. There are some things to note, so make sure you check them before making a change. There are some things to note, so make sure you check them before making any changes. The only item that can be changed is the start date. The ticket type, seat, room, and the valid periods cannot be changed. So. You cannot change the type of the pass, like from ordinary car to green car, or change the valid periods, like from 7-day pass to 14-day pass. If you want to change the ticket type and or valid periods, you must cancel the pass and buy a new one. Next, if you change the reservation details of your Japan Rail Pass, all currently booked reserved seat tickets will be cancelled, regardless of whether or not passengers were removed. After completing the changes, you must book tickets again. Please note that you may not be able to reserve the same exact seats again. This means, once you make a change, you will lose your reserve seat. You have to book a seat again, and you may not be able to reserve it again. 
Next, you can change the start date of your currently reserved Japan Rail Pass up to the day before the start date on Japan Rail Pass reservation. For example, I have the JR Pass booking here, which starts from the June 21st. I can make a change until June 20th in Japan time. You can change your Japan Rail Pass start date up to 20 times. I think most of you will not change 20 times. You can change your Japan Rail Pass start date up to 3 months in advance of the initial payment date. For example, I purchased a pass on June 1st. It's been 3 months since then, so I can change the start date of the pass until August 31st. Enter the start date, then click the confirm button. Japan Rail Pass can be purchased starting at 4 a.m. one month before the start date. As I mentioned earlier in this movie, you can purchase a JR Pass only one month before the departure date. It is explained here that you can change the date up to three months in advance, but you can only make changes to the date that is one month after the change date. It is not possible to change the date to three months ahead with one change. If you change it to a date that is three months ahead, you have to make some changes a few times. For example, today is June 1st, but if I make a change now, I can only select the dates up to July 1st. If I want to change it to August 1st, change it to July 1st now, change it again to July 31st on June 30th, change it again to August 30th on July 30th, change one more time to August 31st on August 29th. So click confirm, you will complete to change the start date of your JR Pass. There is no charge for this change. Next, let's see add reserved passengers. If you want to increase the number of the passengers, you can use this menu. However, please see the note here. If you change the reservation details of your Japan Rail Pass, all currently booked reserved seats ticket will be cancelled, regardless of whether or not passengers were removed. After completing the changes, you must book tickets again. Please note that you may not be able to reserve the same exact seats again. I can't say exactly because I haven't actually tried it here, but increase the number of the people here means making the change to your booking so you may lose the seats you have already booked. If you want to make sure your reservation details, it is better to create new account and purchase a separate JR Pass instead of increase the number of the people here. So how to increase the number here? Under additional number of the passengers, select the number of adults and or children you want to increase. Click next. The price for the increasing the number of the people will be added and the total amount will be displayed together with the pass already purchased. The rest of the process is the same as when purchasing the pass. If the number of the people added this time includes those under the age of 16, put a check mark in parental consent. Then enter the name of the person who has increased the country name of the passport that is the one, two, three characters, the passport number and re-enter to confirm. I will explain about the last things which is a cancellation refund of JR Pass. Click refund. You will see what you purchased, including the type of your pass and the start date, your name and the passport information. See the below and you will find the refund. So just click it on it and you can complete the cancellation. There is a fee for the cancelling the pass. It costs 560 yen per pass. 560 yen is about 5 US dollars. It's not that big, but please keep it in your mind. If you have any questions about how to use this site, check the FAQs page first. If you still have questions or issues, you can contact the customer service and ask them directly. Usually, you will receive the reply within 24 hours. Let me summarize new JR Pass reservation site. In this reservation site, first, the price is 10 to 12% higher than the agent price. Second, 
You can make online reservations for train seats by purchasing the JR Pass on this site. At this time, even if you buy it with an agent, you cannot make a seat reservation for a train on this site. You can use another online reservation called JR East Online Reservation, but it is limited such as not being able to reserve the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Kyoto. Third, exchange order voucher is not required. You can redeem your JR Pass with the reservation number you receive by email. If you buy a pass at the agent, you still need to bring an exchange order. Fourth, when you have to cancel, you can do it online. If you buy from an agent, you need to send the exchange order at the shipping cost. In my personal opinion, if you are traveling during the busy seasons, such as the year end and the new year holidays, you need to make an online reservation. So, purchase the JR Pass from this site. Otherwise, buy it at a cheaper price at the agent. That's all for this movie. Thank you very much for watching such a long movie. If you find the movie useful, please press the good button. This channel provides useful information for you to get on a train in Japan, such as how to buy a JR Pass, how to book a seat on the train, the information on Japanese trains, and transfer routes at stations. If you are planning a trip to Japan, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. See you in the next movie. Bye.